Inside Press Box is presented by Live Casino and Hotel. Always live, always on. And the Chesapeake Bayhawks are hosting Hometown Hero and Military Appreciation Night featuring fireworks, live music, and a game against the Boston Cannons. That's Monday, July 2nd at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. For tickets, visit thebayhawks.com or call 866-99-HAWKS. Hey, we're all in, are you? For the best in sales, service, parts, and collision repair, visit ThompsonAutomotive.com. And welcome back. Stan the Fan recently penned a column for Jay Moore on Baltimore's hockey history, made fresh by the capital Stanley Cup win. Our next guest played minor league hockey from 1953 to 1970, including seven seasons with the Baltimore Clippers in the glory days of the AHL. And it's a pleasure to welcome, in in, welcome him in. It's Jill Beauvert. Pleased to meet you, Sir, man. welcome in. How are you? you? Jill. Pleased to meet you. I'm fine. And thanks for coming in. And take us back to the great old days, because a lot of our fans today may not even be aware how much of a hockey town Baltimore was back in the well, 60s. Well, it was different. People then, the, the closestness we had with the fan was unbelievable. You could sit in baseball. You could sit with the Colts. You go to a bar, there's a gold pleasure. Everybody drinks. The hockey we used to do at the Civic Center. They would beg you sometime to buy you a drink. Right. <laughs> oh, yes. If you, if you turn it down, it was an insult to them. But back in those days, in the early 60s, the yeah. Civic Center was brand spanking mm -hmm. new, but yet the building was obsolete when it was built. Right. Yeah. Do you remember the disappointment in 1968 when we got bypassed for Philadelphia and Pittsburgh it, to get one of the six expansion teams yes. in the National Hockey League? You know the pass gate at the Civic Center. Yeah. yeah. You come right by the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, by the, uh, the uh, we call it the, the theater. When we yeah. used to come to play Baltimore, I said we're playing at the theater tonight because of the, and they looked, they walked, they could, you know, they went, and her, Campbell said, no way. I won't say what he said in between, okay. and they walk out. Well, I mean, they came and looked at the city. They were going to go to two West Coast towns, and mm -hmm. it was going to be either Van two of three, Vancouver, San Francisco, or L.A. Yeah. The Midwest was going to be Minneapolis and St. Louis. Yeah. Baltimore had to beat out Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. Yeah. And at the time, Philadelphia didn't even have a triple-A hockey team. No, they were in the American League, though, back in the uh, early like earlier. 50s. Yeah. yeah. But then it died. It yeah. didn't have a rink. Because I remember when I first came here, we used to go there just for an hour of practice. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to our fans for a minute who may not even know this, that goaltenders back in the day didn't used to wear helmets. I'm well, not masks, even... Masks. Ma ma masks, yeah. right. I'm not even talking about the helmets that I they wear today. Mean, yeah. I'm talking about masks. So when you were in goal back in the 50s and 60s, your head, the way it is right now, is how you were in goal. Yeah. What but, do you think about the well, evolution? Well, let me interject. Let me just interject. But back then, they didn't. They didn't have the sticks. Curve. The bending, the sticks. No, but still, you, you they, well, still the hockey pucks uh, were the hockey were, pucks. Uh, yeah. Bobby they, Hull still was firing at hundred miles an hour. I could tell you a hour. story about him. Yeah, we were playing my first year. There, we played him in uh, Washington, that old rink. Yeah, he let one go for the red line. I never had a chance. So you know, you play goal, you. Like this, right, so right, right. It hit, my, it hit my stick and broke in half. <laughs> you know, I, all I have is the handle. So he skated by me. He said, "What do you think of that, kiddo?" I said, oh, "That's an old stick." <laughs> he but, laughed. but Joe, you ever you ever took a puck in the face? Sure. Right. So I mean, but you were never afraid going out there no, without any you protection. Can't, you can't. Otherwise, you might as well hang your skate. You forget about it mm -hmm. because yeah, I remember they used to stitch you. You go to the room during the, the game. Oh yeah, right. bang bang. You could feel. But you were so tense, you never, you know. I got hit over the eye. I got in here. I'm lucky I still have my teeth. Now, I don't have any more because I fell down that Christmas. I tripped and that four two. I never had nothing in my mouth. I always have my teeth. <laughs> he had his real teeth. It looks teeth. pretty good. Yeah. You know? pretty good. And uh, I had a I, lucky I had a good glove. It, it, that glove saved me many times because I would catch everything. I learned that from a, a kid. That, well, a kid who was older than me, he said, look, Use your glove and don't give rebound. Mm. Today, they would give rebound, well, 20, so, 30 feet. Right. So the question is, would Baltimore have been, had it had the right building, would it have been a good NHL city? At the time, yes. Yeah. At the time, yes, because I remember when I came, I couldn't believe it, eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 people in there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We go, well, you know, Hershey and Oz, my God, was a sellout on Friday? Was a sellout on Saturday or Saturday and Sunday yeah. afternoon? You know, but Baltimore was a great sports town. It really back was. Then. It was. Colts, I, I, I really like it. Starting. Yeah, 
I was lucky because Terry Ridden knew me because I had played for him. And when the Western League went out, I was playing for Edmonton at the time. The year before, we won the championship, the Western League. And my last year was Chuck Rader. I don't know if you ever heard Chuck Rader. Yep. Great guy. Oh. And uh, first thing I could get a call from Terry, he said, I bought your contract from Detroit. You're going to come and play for us. And that's how you and, came here. And that's how it and now, now it's 50 years I'm later. Still, I'm still 80, there. 86 years old. Thank you, Gilles. Yeah. How good is good. how good is Braden Holpe? He's Just pretty good. He's pretty damn yeah. good. All right. But the we, only guy that's a little bit, I think, uh, Fizet, uh, not Fizet, Fleury. Fleury. All right. But he, Fleury didn't have the defenseman. Yeah. You could see how good Washington was. They had score. Yeah. And Overture Ovechkin. made the difference. He played as a team, not as by myself. Hmm. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, I Great to reminisce. That then. All right. Take good care of you guys. All right. Young after, chap. After the break, <laughs> we're young chaps. After the break, we'll assess the trade value of some of the Orioles' key pieces. Crosstalk is next. Keep it here for more Inside Press Box. And don't forget Hero Appreciation Day is every Wednesday at Live Casino and Hotel. Live Rewards members with a valid military DOD police officer or firefighter ID receive special offers. Visit LiveCasinoHotel.com for details. Adirondo Mills must be 21. Please play responsibly for help. Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Inside Press Box is presented by Live Casino and Hotel. Always live, always on. 